How you doing, everyone? Welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. We've got so much stuff to go over. As always, we're going to be talking about everyone else this year at E3. We, so we already talked about Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony. We're going to talk about uh, people like Bethesda, Square, Ubisoft, and EA, and all those games uh, that they're going to be presenting. So can't wait to go over that. My name is Will. We have, of course, with us Nine. Nine. Hello. We've got Gage. Hi. And we have Sam. Hey. Let's get into this, guys. Let's start off with Bethesda. Bethesda's got their own media briefing this year. First one. And, and rightfully so, if they're going to show off the biggest things we might see at E3. Now, they've already announced, for those of you who don't know, Fallout 4. Fallout 4 is going to be a massive, massive game, and I'm sure so many people are already excited about this. But I'm assuming they're going to start showing some uh, gameplay. Nine, what do you think? Uh, I, I think we'll have a full gameplay kind of play through demonstration of it and I think that they will have a release date. Okay. I really do based on a leak on Reddit last year from a disgruntled employee, <laughs> a lot of the facts have held up. Uh, so we'll we'll see what happens. We talked about that a little bit on checkpoint. Yeah. Um Sam are you you're a Fallout fan, aren't you? Sorta. I, I, I like it. Um I just didn't, I don't get into it like crazy. I'm not one of the crazy hype fans, you know, like Nine here. Who, I'm like, all on the hype train. <laughs> you know, I like it. I'll play it. I'm just not going to be like, oh my god, I have to have it like right now, right now, right now. I'll be like, okay. <laughs> it came out. Yay. <laughs> Gage. So Gage, I, I mean, I was, I was, I guess I was excited for the announcement. I kind of thought it was coming anyway. I'm not a big Fallout guy. I mean, I'm excited for more games in general. Like, I, that's what I like to see, and I like to see new things. So if Bethesda's going to put out new ideas with a franchise everybody already loves, you're going to see Bethesda, Bethesda start to get you know new ideas of their own too. So I'm excited that new games are coming. I mean, I think Fallout 4 is going to be really good. A lot of people didn't get into the Fallout series until Fallout 3. Um, well, yeah, and I, 1 and 2. It was just, <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and Fallout 3 was a great experience for a lot of people because for me, like I mentioned, one of the greatest openings of a game, I, I think, uh, the way it did it, and then the way it told the stories, how your character progressed. Fallout 4, I can only imagine, is going to look better, be bigger. You have more options, yeah. more story. I mean, it's going to be really cool, man. Yeah. Super excited about that. Yeah. Uh, Bethesda also announced they're going to have Doom. Um, <laughs> we knew, I mean, <laughs> we knew Doom was coming, and everyone loves Doom. I just don't. I don't. I don't see it. I mean, maybe probably, probably if I would play Wolfenstein, I would probably understand the hype for this Doom game. Um, I imagine this Doom announcement's coming with, or not announcement, but show, they're showing off gameplay, and I think they're going. We're going to get a release for the beta that everyone got for Wolfenstein. I think that's what their Doom it's thing's going to be. Only so many. Months, you know, late. L late I mean, or on time. Oh, well, you know, it's all on how you look at it, I guess. It's a year overdue. <laughs> kind of. Now, did you play Doom back in the day? I did play Doom. One of the first first person shooters I ever played was Doom. So, this. Please explain to Gage why this game is so deserving why of a remake. Why shooting all those cardboard cutouts of monsters <laughs> was that fun? It's more fun than you would think. I've played it. I didn't play it. <laughs> Although I played it when I was but this he, age. Remember, he doesn't like old things. Up, and they yeah. grew up with it. So. Yeah, I mean, um, I'd certainly they need to do the game justice. I mean, uh, I think a lot of people are expecting it to, you know, get up to modern technology and still be just as good, take it to the next level, and we don't want a Duke Nukem thing to reappear, right? Oh, so, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's going to Please, happen. no. Please, <laughs> I think we'll be okay. not have that ever again. Once the beta comes out, everyone plays it. They're like, oh, thank God, Doom, and I'll be like, all right, cool, I played a beta for Doom. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, Gage, uh, Dishonored 2 Definitive Edition, um, well, like, I don't know if that's going to be announced. Did, didn't they say that they weren't going to announce anything, Dishonored 2? Dishonored, Dishonored 2 and Definitive and the De Definitive Edition are separate. So there's the rumor was first that Dishonored 2 is going to be 83, and of course we don't know yet. We'll find out soon. Um, Dishonored 2 is going to be there, but then they came out and said Dishonored 2 is not going to be there. And then they came out and there was a rumor for the Definitive Edition, which is Dishonored 1 on the Xbox One and the PS4. So I think we'll see that this year. And okay. Dishonored 2 will probably see like a splash image, like here's the title that you've already seen rumored before, and it's coming sometime next year. Just wait for more announcements. Or something at QuakeCon, you know, comes up that's Dishonored related. So maybe they'll just do a teaser? Yeah, I mean, I imagine there's going to be a few teasers so, yeah. in this realm. Well, and the Definitive Edition is kind of on the part with everybody doing it for the PS4 and the Xbox One no, already. No backwards compatibility, re-release the game and pay another 60 bucks for it. I'm on that. And make more money. <laughs> exactly. Some other Double rumors at this year's E3 is possibly an Elder Scrolls 6. 
Um, that's just a rumor. Like I said, I don't know if that'll actually come up. But you got to imagine that you know they're not going to spend their entire brief, their first ever briefing talking about just Fallout 4. They might. When, when they've already <laughs> they announced they could. They might. They they've could. already announced the game. Well, see here, they announced it ahead of the press conference, which I think builds the hype train. Because when you announce it ahead of the press conference, you get all of your search traffic for Fallout 4 before E3, so you're not mixed in with everybody else. There's no way they do that. I, I, I think they spend like 25 minutes on Fallout. Because I think this game's coming out this year, and I think it's ready to go. I agree. Because I think that trailer looked all in-game footage. That, that, it didn't that was like, too perfect. It wasn't rendered cutscenes. Yeah. The dog didn't look that spectacular in this trailer anyway. I think that was in-game footage from an Xbox One or PS4. So I, 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 I think that they'll do some <laughs> Doom stuff, agree. they'll do Fallout 4, but I also think they got something else up their sleeve. Which I think it could be Elder Scrolls 6. Possibly Elder Scrolls, a uh, game like that. I'd be okay with Maybe that. another sure. Skyrim, I don't know, we'll see. I, they've never done the same I know, but Skyrim's twice. so huge. And saying, I think it's Elder Scrolls 6, I don't think they're going to show off like gameplay or it's teasing. They, it's not even a render trailer. I think you're going to get a logo, <laughs> hey, this is coming too. By the way, we're still working on a bunch of cool stuff. Make sure you check out Fallout 4 this year, Dishonored next year, and then well, you know, we'll have more uh, more Elder Scrolls coming. They have a couple other games, like, uh, was it Battle Cry? Battle Cry, I Battle think. Battle Cry, yep. Which, um, you know, I, I don't think we're too excited about, but there might be some people out there that are Us looking for, <laughs> for, for a game like that. And Team Fortress players are going to love it. Yeah, and they put a lot of time into it, so we'll see how that turns out. Uh, we'll have more coverage for you on all of these things at E3. We'll be attending uh, Bethesda's briefing. Super excited about that. Uh, so we'll be keeping you up to date on all things Bethesda, Fallout 4, and everything else. Uh, so when we get back, we're going to talk about Ubisoft and Square and what uh, games they're going to be presenting at this year's E3 when we get back. Hey everybody, welcome back. We just got done talking about Bethesda and all their plans for this year's E3. So now let's get into Ubisoft and Square. We'll start with Ubisoft. Ubisoft has, uh, you know, obviously Assassin's Creed. They've announced that they're going to be showing some footage of there, some possibly some gameplay. Gage, I know you're a big Assassin's Creed guy. So what are your thoughts on this one? Assassin, um, I love Assassin's Creed. Yeah. So, I, and they, the first trailers they put out for this, and a lot of the information they focused on was their main character, the male character. Jacob Fry. Yeah. Right. But his sister is also a main character you play as. So oh, I think with E3, you're going to get your typical Assassin's Creed CGI trailer. You're going to get your gameplay from your setting. So I think a lot of that focus is going to be on the female character this time around. So a lot of information on how that back and forth system works. I've seen a lot of that in, in these games, like the, the whole like the Grand Theft Auto. I think it kind of started with where it forcing you to literally play multiple different people, multiple people I through a campaign. I think because GTA proved that it can work. I think other games have done it, but like it hasn't been like a oh, well, that that, like the Arbiter and Halo Two. Oh God, yeah, so, so bad. It. But now so bad. it actually it's going to work from. That they figured out the formula, and, and yeah, now they and, just gotta. And, well, and Batman, get the story Arkham Knight, to work is with the same kind of thing. Right. I mean, theirs is combat based, so you basically you build up your combo. If you get to like 80 in a row, you call in Nightwing, and he comes in and takes out some guys for you. So but that's, the, is there not gameplay footage of actually going through the story <laughs> as Nightwing? Uh, of, of some of these other characters? But And then to, to, to uh, Assassin's Creed, the same type of a thing. Mm -hmm. It's making you go through the game as a different player. Yeah, but I think that's more story based, which is, which is nice. And then, of course, this is a whole Ubisoft thing about, hey, we have girls and games now. Yeah, and they got rid of the multiplayer. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. I don't like that, but whatever. You were a fan of the multiplayer. I love the multiplayer. It has Assassin's Creed. It's a lot different, so I can get off Call of Duty and go play Assassin's Creed and sneak around instead of running gun the whole time. Now, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're not the biggest Assassin's Creed fan. <laughs> no, you going to play I, this one? You're going to pass I, I'll probably red box it. I'll make them play. As horrible as that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. I, I would like to play it. I don't want to... I don't want to get burnt on $60 again because sure. I've been burnt $60 three times by them. Well, you can form so. your own opinion, uh, as with everybody else once uh, at Ubisoft's uh, briefing. They'll, I'm sure they'll announce some of that and we'll get some hands on. So, another huge game that they announced last year was The Division. The Division yeah. does look really, really good. And, and you know, the, the, it's got an in depth story. It's two got years uh, ago. two years ago. Two years they ago. announced yeah. it with the launch of the consoles. Yeah. I last just, year just, we had a more. It better be perfect. <laughs> yeah. Did, was it available last year to play? No. Okay. This will be the first year we to had be able a, to play. We had a really cool trailer. I think. Yeah. 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 This is when they. This is when they gameplay. showed the gameplay trailer. Mm -hmm. And there was a the, story the, to the, it. The, the multiplayer ducking behind cars and. Years of War Three. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know about don't. that. But, uh, <laughs> So the division is a, it's a, a pretty game, uh, or it's a game that's been. It's a pretty game. <laughs> it's a pretty game. It, it is, is pretty. Uh, it is a pretty game. It's not that the snow pretty. engine is 
Um, <laughs> now they're hyping this up, and one of the things that they like to do is like turn their games into flagship games. Do, is this a game that they can do that with? Not. I think they could definitely make a franchise out of this game, but it'll be a franchise more along the lines of Destiny. It'll be a long-term franchise. Okay. I was gonna say that. It'll be a long-term franchise versus an annualized franchise like Assassin's Creed, and yeah. the, I think they'll make the crew an annualized franchise eventually. Maybe. It did really we'll well. See what happens. Yeah. Um, so, so, game. so Rainbow Six Siege we saw last year at the end of Ubisoft's briefing, and that Very was kind of their big surprise type surprise of title. IP, yeah. um, I know we'll see a lot more of that game, and some other rumors. Uh, we might see. Uh, uh, Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Prince of Persia. <laughs> so, I mean, there was a voice actor that came out and retweeted Ubisoft's conference, like, hey, this is happening this time. And he goes, I can't wait to see Prince of Persia there. And everyone's like, well, is it an well, what are you talking about? Yeah, that's Nobody the rumor. anything about Prince of Persia. Yeah, <laughs> so. Possibly Beyond Good and Evil. This game's been coming around since, like, 2008. <laughs> um, a lot so it's going to be perfect. Well, sure. A lot it's of, a lot of well, it, it was... It was in development, then it got stopped for Rayman Origins. That team worked on Rayman Origins. Now it's back team. in development, so they showed off a trailer, and now well, we're... Well, it was Rayman Origin people. It's going to be great. Right. Well, last year this time they said it wasn't ready Rayman to be Eagle, shown yeah. off, and now I think it's been a year. I think we're going to see it finally. Okay. Uh, moving on to Square. Square, obviously, they came out and said that they're not going to have Final Fantasy 15 at this year's E3. They did. They, yeah. well, originally they said they were going to have some trailer prepared for it, but then they are like, well, you know what? We're not quite ready. We're going to save it for Gamescom. Sorry, everybody. Which is fine. I mean, Gamescom's going to be huge. Uh, big, big announcements there. It's becoming bigger bigger and bigger. Of course, that's open to the public, so yep. we'll have uh, more people going, oh, I think that's why they're holding off. Yeah. For, they want, the, they want, they the, want fans the fans there, the not the media <laughs> there. They want the, yeah. they don't want that 11 a.m. media crowd going, well, oh, cool. Yeah. They, want, they want to sell the game <laughs> to the people that are going to buy the game versus yeah. the people that are trying to promote the game. Sure. So Final Fantasy, uh, this time around, is more of an open world, hack and slash type of a game. Not your typical turn-based that the like series Kingdom is known Heart. for. But uh, looks looks good so far from what we've seen. Um, of course, Kingdom Hearts 3, another big <sighs> square game. That's probably You're a big fan of that, right? Pat, yeah, I'm a huge fan of the Kingdom Hearts games. Yeah. Love them. Yeah. And it's being passed up on no, V3 I, I as well. I don't think it's going to be there. <laughs> no. Did you play any of those games, Sam? I did. I yeah. liked them. I love them. I'm not, and see, I'm not a Final Fantasy fan, so... Which these my games aren't. Can't I wouldn't even, even qualify these games in the same realm. Like the, he can't understand how I can like Kingdom Hearts and not Final Fantasy. But I like the <laughs> Final Fantasy because I like Disney. I like Mickey Mouse. I like you know. Kingdom Hearts actually definitely surprised me when I first played the first one. I was like, this is going to be a little childish. This is going to be a little. You think that, you and think it's a lot that. darker than you think it is, which <laughs> I loved. It's I, great. It, it took me in. I was like, wow. <coughs> and you kind of got to do these things. And, and I was like, wow, this is really cool. I, I enjoy it. The yeah. end of the second one was fantastic. I Absolutely. Thought. They've I mean, got some big shoes to fill with three. Yeah, and I would say. They really got it right with uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. But once again, this is on a new gen uh, platform, so we'll see with your a different gameplay. development team. Yeah, so, so I hope, yeah, you're right. So hopefully they can, yes. uh, they can fill it up. Kind of scary. Um, some other games from Square uh, Tomb Raider. Um, do you think we'll see some of that there? No. Uh, I think we'll see it at Microsoft's briefing, not Square's briefing. Gage, what do you think? Don't think it's good. I don't, if they show anything, they'll show the trailer that Microsoft shows off or something like that. I don't think it's going to be much. It's not going to be one of the big, you know. Just because things. Microsoft's got such a grip on it right now. Yeah. Um, and they'll Square will also have some some gameplay for us uh, with Deus Ex. Uh, we'll have a lot of coverage on that game. This game was kind of a, a game I didn't think too much of when it first came out, but then um, once I started playing it, got into the story, it was one of those, this kind of reminded me of like, I don't want to say Far Cry, but it had a twisted story. It was kind of in there deep and really mm -hmm. messed with you a yeah. little bit. Um, so and when you go back to think about it, you're like, Wait a minute! Then Whoa! You, then you have to play it again. <laughs> exactly. And you're like, oh. Are you excited about this one at all? Not? No. No. <laughs> you're not a Deus Ex fan. I'm not a Deus Ex fan. Maybe it will be. We'll see what happens. Um, and I think uh, one also rumor for uh, them that you might see a Hitman thing, but uh, I don't know about that. Uh, when we get back, we're going to talk about EA, and we'll be back right after this. Hey, welcome back. We just got done talking about Ubisoft and Square at this year's E3. Now let's talk about EA. EA has a massive lineup of games, as they always do, but this year uh, they got some, some really strong titles that I know we're all pretty excited about. I am. Well, I'm sure no. some of them he's excited about. <laughs> 
Uh, let's start off speed, with uh, <laughs> Need for Speed. Need for Speed um, Rivals came out. So it was a couple years ago, right? Two years. Two years yeah. ago, yeah. Content launch. Rivals was good, right? I liked Rivals. Rivals. Is, I, I liked it too. We played a lot. So same people making uh, the next Need for Speed installments. Yep. Um, so we'll see about that game. Also, at last year's E3, they sh showed off a game that kind of looked like Burnout. Um, Burnout with ATVs and jet skis and helicopters and every racing game you've ever played before put into one. Put yeah, one. every kind like of racing pure, game pure. put into yeah. one. Yeah, off-road racing, water racing, helicopter racing. Apparently, I'm a horse everything. Racing. Yeah. Anyway, I helicopter that's, race. I don't. Just get there first. I mean, that's, that's what Criterion's game. Yeah, horse racing. We got a triple, triple crown. crown. Did you hear yeah. that? <laughs> Barbie horse racing adventures. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. Put it all in there. But that's Criterion's game. So there's two racing games we're probably gonna see at EA. Yeah. Barbie horse racing adventures. <laughs> yes, yeah, too. Uh, we're just throwing out all kinds of good ideas. Um, okay. Uh, EA also has uh, Madden, of oh, course. Every year they staple. have their sports game, EA Sports. It's in the game. Oh, no, the um, you know, I don't know what they do differently Starting this nice. year. I haven't heard much about uh, what's going on. I don't know. I don't well, I, the, some of the details that came out early are they're working on the quarterback to receiver um, connection. They're making that better, and they're working on their defensive back stuff. So the the receiver defensive back yeah, battles is basically their focus for this one, as well as their quarterback redefining thing, which they seem to update every couple of years anyway. They usually bounce back and forth between offense and defense. This year it looks like more offense. So nice. Yeah, last year so definitely. More points. It was all last about year was defense, a defensive yeah. focus title. Yeah, this year score more points. is your aerial offensive. And thing. some of the some of the features that they have in Madden, like that people enjoyed in earlier versions of the game, they act, they can't keep everything in every single game, so they end up taking out some of those. And some people are like, oh, I can't believe you got rid of this or that. I think it was uh, 13 or whatever that had the whole co-op. Uh, player thing was a big deal um, that they took out and uh, a lot of people were upset about that but when it came back in um, you know people were like oh they brought that back so they push and pull some of these features around in these Madden games but it would be interesting to see if what else they add new. Yeah, they're pulling out of a hat like yeah. oh cool this will go in this They'll year. have the ultimate team and all that kind <laughs> of thing again dropped. this year. Uh, of course they'll also have FIFA and their whole lineup of sports games hopefully we'll get to co cover some of those games for you yep. um, as well. Uh, also last year's e uh, briefing they had Mirror's Edge um, yeah. Mirror's Edge. Uh, I mean, it's going to be, I guess, uh, is it a remake, a reboot? I think it's a reboot, isn't it? I think it's a full reboot. I think yeah. it's just starting from the ground floor because they started with Mirror's Edge and then it went as like a sleeper title that year. It was really good, but only by like a cult group of people. Yeah, five people. And ever since then, the, the fame like of the game has just like gone uphill exponentially. So I think they're rebooting it for the next generation and adding some features that people were looking for yeah. that didn't quite sell the game for. I mean, the trailer they showed off kind of presented it as a prequel to the first game anyway. Like, yeah, did, you play, it, did you play no, the first I, one? I didn't play it. I had no desire to. I, mean, red so the wall I didn't play the this one. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't for me. Yep, it looks pretty. It looks pretty cool. I think um, obviously they did really well for them, or they wouldn't be making another one. I don't know that it did really well for them. I just think it's well, a popular with, thing. <laughs> with the new consoles, they can also do more with it. As sure. Well. So guess. they can add the things that maybe they didn't get to, you know, add. When did that game come out? 2008, 2009. Yeah, so it's been a little while. Sure. Yeah. Okay. EA also, uh, I think, uh, I don't know if they'll officially do it, but we're speculating that they might actually have Mass Effect 4 information, possibly some another trailer, some Strong gameplay. They've got to. Maybe some story elements in there. Um, I'm, I think you're going to get your cinematic trailer for this. I don't. I think it might still be too early for some kind of gameplay. But BioWare is definitely working on something. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's got to be Mass Effect. They, we know they're working on a Mass Effect game. They even showed it off last year, <laughs> yeah. barely. But Gage, yeah, you're a Mass Effect fan, right? No. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've played. I played the first two. I didn't. I didn't like the first one. I barely liked the second one, and that made me not want to play the third one. So I mean, the fourth one coming out was just. It was gold. Mass Effect. <laughs> oh, we'll see. I've got a huge following. I think a lot of people are interested to see where it goes, due to the ending of the third one, which is still controversial. Controversial. Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> they which conditions <laughs> to get them to change it? They did change it. <laughs> yeah. Well, they released DLC for it. Yeah. Stupid. Um, Power to the people, man. I guess so. Power to the people. Uh, a game I think we can all appreciate, and I think we all like, and safe to say, Plants vs. Zombies. We're getting Garden another Garden War Warfare game. Sequel. Yeah. Which is now this one you played, right? Yes. Yeah. I got it on my PlayStation 4 and my Vita. Now. Nice. So it's 
it's just the time killing game. It's you oodles and oodles of fun. Yes. <laughs> it's just one of those where you need a laugh and you want to, you know, play a game and it's you, so much I mean, fun. <laughs> You just can't not enjoy this game. Yeah. It just makes you happy. I, I like it. It's a, it's a lot of fun. I love the power-ups. The gameplay is fun. The, the characters are good. The plants are fun. New plants are always fun to see how they get created with them. I just hope they go back and put some kind of a nostalgia thing of the side-scrolling one, because I really like that one. That's, maybe that's just me. But I, 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 had a, <laughs> I, I had a lot of fun with that. the first one, the first Plants vs. Zombies. Okay. So, you know, there's that. Uh, and lastly, uh, Battlefront. Battlefront, of course, will be a huge oh. presence uh, at this year's E3. Um, nine, <laughs> nine, nine's not on board with this. If not you've been listening all. to our, our podcast or our shows, I think Gage and I, Sam, are you are you psyched I'm, about the game? I'm, I'm on the fence. It, what? It, Where is it coming from? I'm not on the fence. I'm, I'm completely on the opposite side of the field. I what they do. Like, I mean, if the story, if there's going to be a story, there's if there's going to be, you know, I'm there reserving judgment. I'm reserving judgment until I actually get my hands on okay, it. Okay, that's fair. That's enough. fair to say. Not like what you're saying. So. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I'm completely against this game. Now, you weren't didn't like Destiny that much until we actually saw it and it was a lot of fun. I wasn't sold on Destiny yet. We're, okay. Well, I, I think, <laughs> let me rephrase this. Gage and I are super, super excited about <laughs> Battlefront. Can't wait to play it. Uh, I know there's going to be a lot of good game modes in there for online gameplay. I, I can't wait to see how it does with the characters and how if you can play them. I, I, I don't know what they're going to show off. They went back to the original places where they filmed the movie. Um, hopefully the in-play game footage that we saw from the Game Engine trailer looks anything close to what it'll actually be like. But, but we'll I hate see. to burst your bubble, but it right. just yeah. won't. All right, well, um, anyway, uh, if you want to find out more about what's going on at this year's E3, you can check us out uh, on youtube.com slash psvgtv or facebook.com slash pressstartvg. You can check us out on Twitch at twitch underscore press. I'm sorry, twitch.tv slash press underscore start underscore TV. And uh, you can find us there. Also, check us out on The Checkpoint, our podcast, where we just check in with you at the middle of the week with all the latest news and everything. That's all we have for you right now. Until next time, see ya. Bye. Love you. Out.